what was the process like though for you was it harder than you imagined it would be or well, it, it was your second time so you, you would have gone through the process already but was it something so, that was easier the second mm-hmm. time around well funny enough it ended up being somehow much harder the second time around i don't know exactly why but um I think it's because the first time I wasn't really too concerned with how it come out. I was I wasn't that invested in it, you know. It was just for for so, you know. However, it come out, it come out. Um, the first time I cut I cut um, the hole in the form of like a F hole, like a violin, and I use a, a jigsaw for that, and that was really really tough. Um, but I didn't have any time time frame, and also I wasn't employed at the time, so that's all I was doing. And I take my time and I do it. Um, and somehow it, it it just it went along pretty easy, but this time I had a time crunch. So I made this box base in basically one weekend. Um, it was a real time crunch, and I used mostly. I didn't really buy much of the materials. Only only the little latches and trimmings. I spent a couple but money or a couple bucks on, but um, but all the wood is more or less salvage wood. Um, and the school that I, that, that I teach at, I was, they had a, a wood a wood shop kind of room or um, design kind of room. And I was going there to ask them to, to cut some of the wood for me. And then they told me they had a laser cutter. So that's how I ended up getting this here design, you oh. know, because, um, yeah, which I'll talk about in a second. But so they cut the design and they cut the pieces for me. But then after that, I came home and I had to use, I used old pallet wood, um, try to get the best pieces, strip it down. And, you know, I wanted to make something that wasn't too heavy as well, you know, and it ended up, it ended up being quite a challenge. The other thing too, I make it harder than it had to be, eh? because I have this design that uh, I first came up with in California, my first box which was like this. Because a box as you know, Avian, is a bulky instrument. It takes up a lot of yes. room when you travel, yes, especially. Sure. <laughs> you know? yes. And so, thank you, bro. And so, I had this idea of what if we could use that space, you know? What if you had now slow, as I said? I mean, yes, I understand. So, slow had this box space, which is collapsible. So, at the first time I, I get the idea of a box space that could actually open up, right? But for slow box space, the top half would come off and flip upside down and fit inside the, the, the bottom half and for that to work the top half was actually like a little bit smaller in dimensions than the bottom half it had a, a slightly weird look almost like a Aztec pyramid kind of thing right but um but i had this idea to make this thing be able to open and so that is what kind of made this oh i see what's going on here yeah i i won't be able to open it right now because i end up putting these little corners on and i have those screwed in so that kind of helped me to hold it down. But yeah, that, that made it a challenge because trying to figure out how to get the, um, the hinges, where to place the hinges and how to get to hold down and how to fill the space in between, which I end up using some um, some weatherproofing, like what they would use on windows and stuff. Windows and right. doors, you know? Yeah. So that th- these will squeeze down the top and that would kind of... Um, be compressed to stop it from rattling because when you make a box base or any instrument out of wood, you don't want to hear rattling. And if you have any loose pieces, you know, then you will get that, you know. So, all right, all right, give me five minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that uh, that's an interesting design, especially with the latches. I don't think I've ever seen that before. No, that's original. Right. Very interesting idea to collapse. Yeah. I don't know the I don't know the um maybe full I could pick that up. Definitely see me have technique up here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here, the here, the the thing notes actually almost like a upright bass. I would. My question I would have as our box basis is, yeah, 
You know, so, so even the technique of plucking it. And then it, 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 it takes a little while to warm up too, to, to get to get the position of the string, you know. Um, and people, people, just, people just do this, like moving up and down. That don't make a difference. What makes a difference is only the tension of the string, where you pull this. And then sometimes it could even come down here. Because if you know physics, because I teach physics, you know, and I did engineering, so I, I understand the physics of it. What, what, what affects the variables that go into the, the frequency of a standard wave on a string is mass length density, which means how heavy the string is, um, length, and tension, and that's it. That's the only thing that affect the the actual frequency. So wave pull don't really make a difference, you know. Um, except that um, I I can go into the physics of it, you know. But but pulling in the middle will be the best the best spot for maximizing the fundamental the main frequency, right? And if you pull a certain kind of like a guitar, they will have um, they will have harmonics, you know, that might be emphasized by pulling on one place or another away from the center, but it's really not um, noticeable with the human ear. Like, you have to use uh, some kind of, you know, frequency analyzer to even pick that up. So, all you really hear is the fundamental. So, you want to pull in the middle. And so, so change, being able to change the length of the string you know, I try to remember you we had I feel like you we had multiple holes, I'm not sure. But like this box with I have three holes. So if I want I to play around yeah. with where I want the ultimate, you know, the string the overall string length. Um you know what I'm running here. Yeah. 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 yeah, that have enough time. That have enough time. This is the thing, right? When I when I string bust in the performance and you can't open your base. You had to stick your hand inside that hole and try to find that thing and pull it and all this kind of thing. But if, or like I say, I defeat the purpose by putting this here. But if you have this and you could just do so and open it up, fix it and put it back, you know, then it's, yeah. it's much nicer. So, so the idea is, this is an old shovel handle. I need to cut it in half and put some PVC and that could screw to each other so we'll be able to break down like how UV bases, you know? Right. And the idea is you could open it up, break down the handle and put it inside. And you could even put your other instruments and stuff inside there. And then you carry this, you put a little, you know, bag on this is the handle. And you know, you carry this, you know? So that's the idea.